like you would love to go to the next level in your health. How many of you want to connect with your body in a whole new way? All right, thank you. My name is Lisa Wong. Welcome to our fun talk today, the last in this group. Get in touch with your inner doctor. I want first thank you for spending this precious time with me, even though it's the last of the day, but I would promise you your wait is worthwhile. And I want to also acknowledge San Francisco Veg Society for putting on this amazing event today, isn't it? Yeah. Did we all have fun? Yeah. yeah. Let's give uh, San Francisco Veg Society a big hand. So before we get started, I want to pass around the sign-up sheet. As uh, you know, we are a 501c3 nonprofit Center for Healing by Design, so I want to keep track of all the people we serve. And I'm so happy to see so many of you here in the room. So what I'd like you to have is put your name, your email, if you want to get on our mailing list. And if you'd like to have a free discovery session, which I'll explain later with me, if you want to work with me one-on-one, -on -one. and if you, after you hear what my talk is and you think of any organizations that you'd like to recommend me to go speak to, please write down uh, the name of the organization, okay? Because I'd love to empower all the vegans, vegetarians, and the vegan curious people to join our vegan movement. Is that good? Okay. Great, so let me start with you, sir. Thank you. All right. So, you know, um, how many of you, so you can see, oh, i supposed to Put that this on me. I forgot. <laughs> you know how things always happen unexpectedly. I got my PowerPoint all prepared and to, ready to go, and I realized I forgot my power cord. So I can fire up my laptop to show the presentation. So I would just have to do with what I got. <laughs> Are you willing to? Play with me. <laughs> we'll still have a very fun session. I promise you, because we got the ear here. <laughs> and well, so you know what I wanted you to get out of this talk is that if you want anybody, if you want to have a whole new understanding about your inner doctor. Oh, who believes you have an inner doctor? <laughs> okay, so not too many of you. So you'll be introduced to your inner doctor. How's that? Who wants to have that? Okay, cool. And how many of you would like to learn the language of your inner doctor? All right, thank you. How many of you want to learn how to listen to your inner doctor. Yeah, raise your hand, hi. Okay, thank you. Last but not least, how many of you want to have a whole new understanding of what optimal health is? Thank you. Wow, we got so many good things we could get out of this 30, probably less than 30 minutes now. <laughs> Uh, but please play with me. This is really worth your while. What you learn here, you will get for the rest of your life. How do you like that? And not only benefit you, but also your family and loved ones as well. Is that good or good? All right. So since we're spending a little thir over 30 minutes together, 
Is it all right if I share a little bit about myself? Thank you. So I, I'm Lisa Wong, like I said. I, um, I am the one of two vegan acupuncturists in the whole Bay Area here. And I was, well, I will, I'm known to be the champion for the voiceless both the animals and the inner doctor. Now, all of you know about the animals, right? Be them being voiceless and we need to, uh, you know, stand up for them, right? And that's what I did 25 years ago when I took an animal ethics class in UC Davis. That's when I went to college. Uh, I was studying computer science, uh, not acupuncture. <laughs> um, but I you know, saw the documentaries, just like a lot of you, about animal agriculture, and I decided to go vegetarian for the animals, not for my own health. At that time, I didn't know about my inner doctor. Now, I, I guess I have, now that I think back, I. Actually, my, my compassion for the animals go all the way back to my childhood when I was born during the Cultural Revolution in China. And my uh, dad raised the chickens for, uh, to, so that we could have protein. Well, so, of course, they didn't know better <laughs> about the problems with animal protein. Um, but uh, I instinctively, I would chase after the, ki chi the chickens to tell them go away whenever my dad was going after them to get them one for dinner. <laughs> so I think uh, back then I already uh, have the vegan seed in me. <laughs> See? Uh, but I did not become vegan until I was an acupuncturist. Now, how I become an acupuncturist is a long story. I don't, we don't have the time today, so I won't go into that. But why I became vegan? Because I see uh, in my clients, now that I'm, I was an acupuncturist now, um, bef and I see that the vegan clients of mine heal faster. Whereas the non-vegan, the meat eater <laughs> clients of mine doesn't do as well or doesn't heal as fast as my vegan clients. So I, you know, was curious and so I did my own homework and research and find out how powerful uh, the plant-based diet is and the lifestyle all matching my values. At the, same, at the time, I believe in the animals and the environment needs our support. But I didn't realize that eating meat actually hurts another voiceless, which is our body. And that inner doctor, our body, actually was crying out inside us, but we didn't hear it. We, we don't listen to it, we, we, don't, we just go about our merry way and eat whatever we do, somehow, even though the, our inner doctor is crying out to, 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 to get us our attention, that, hey, you're, 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 you're really getting your own way, you're you know, uh, really hurting me. How did I find out to come up to meet my inner doctor? Well, I come across a book. Do you know, anybody know uh, Albert Schweitzer? Yeah? Albert Schweitzer is a, a very famous quote. Many, he had many. One of them I really become my uh, motto is every one of us carry around our inner doctor. 
and that when we're in a, we are the best, when we let that inner doctor go to work. So that really rings a core to me. And I decided that I'm going to uh, be the assistant to the inner doctor that's in every one of my clients. So now in my clinic, the doctor is my client, and I'm the helper. Yeah, and my job is to support and educate my client to know about their inner doctor and how she or he can become the best partner to your inner doctor. And don't get in your way, don't do stupid things that uh, will actually get in the way of you being you and doing your dream, living your life that you meant to be, because our body is the most sophisticated machine in the universe. It's designed to heal itself because we all of us is our best doctor. Do we all agree? Are you with me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Thank you. So that's why I uh, decided to form my nonprofit Center for Healing by Design is to empower people of all ages, all cultures, to recognize and know how to get in touch with their inner doctor and live healthy, compassionate lives in harmony with Mother Earth and all our living beings. So now, how do I, so being the acupuncturist in me, uh, we always think that, you know, you still have to use the needles to do, you know, the healing. That's what we're trained. We did not fully uh, trust or believe, believe or not, that acupressure can uh, get, c take care of everything. So I, even though I was teaching and, and using acupressure uh, on my clients, but I still have a doubt. You know how you have self-doubt when you're doing something you, you not fully believe? You know, do you, you know how that feels? <laughs> you can relate. But I fully believe in me, believe in our power to heal our body, our inner doctor, if you trust it, trust her or sh him, she, he or she will really create miracles. So when it happened to me is when I'm up 19,000 feet high on top of Mount Kilimanjaro. I was, I could hardly breathe because there's only 45% oxygen and I was uh, really uh, feeling suffocating, <laughs> and I had to, uh, I had to do something. I don't have many needles. I don't have any medication. I don't have any doctor with me. I only have myself. So, what I do? I said, "Oh, this is." I come here. And I want to do this experiment. So I did my acupressure. I pressed the points that like the way I teach my clients. So basically <laughs> use my own medicine. And in 20 minutes, I, I could breathe normally again. Have you ever been to tall mountains like Mount Kilimanjaro? Any of you? Not Whitney. Okay. So Okay, good, all right, yeah. You know, I had high altitude sickness, I was vomiting, I was diarrhea, nausea, everything. And I was able to use my acupressure and including the ear, this is what I will teach you today. I tested on myself 
it works for me, and I believe it will work for you too. So, um, so this year, okay. One, one of the things that I t uh, teach people to how to get in touch with your inner doctor is through control panels in the body. Anybody? Well, you know all what control panel is, right? But our bo so because our body is the most fancy vehicle that you drive life through with, you don't know about the control panels in your vehicle. Do you imagine you can drive your car without the dashboard in front of you? You ever dare to drive like that without knowing how your car is doing? Imagine, would you be <laughs> crashing? Well, that's what we're doing with our body. You did not know about the control panel we, through which you are communicating with your car, with your doctor inside you. Your inner doctor will not be able to tell you what's going on. If your engine is having a problem, if you have a flat tire, you don't have no way to know. But guess what? That's what my nonprofit does, is to teach you all these control panels in the body. How many are there? Do you know? Countless. Countless. That's true, yes. If you intend, there is countless. Well, I just consider the ones that you can actually uh, touch and work with. Uh, if you'd like me, uh, I need something just very visual. I can touch. Then definitely there's about eight of them. But I will just tell you this since we don't have much time. How about I just teach you one? Is that good? Yeah. yeah. And this one I teach is the most powerful, even though it's the smallest. <laughs> it's our ears. Now, let's 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 uh, let's hold our ears and really uh, give us some love. I guess you, we don't give our ears enough love or attention. How how often do you ever think about your ears because you don't see them, right? <laughs> okay. So I want us to all do a little simple ear massage to wake us up. Okay? All right, so let's start with the bottom, and then we squeeze, pinch, pinch the edge of our ear. Okay? And then also use our index finger to get into the inside. This is the internal organs of our body. And you just do little circles, okay? And, and make sure you cover every inch, okay? Then we'll give it a squeeze, big squeeze, and let go. <laughs> Ooh, how do you feel? Warm. <laughs> Warm? Awake? <laughs> yeah? Well, Guess why we love ear massage so much? Because we have the whole body covered by, by doing this massage to both our ears. Isn't it? Yes. Because, well, let me tell you the story of the ear really quickly. 22nd day after conception, your parents have you. When you're still in the womb, the ear comes on. And because the ear comes on before you eat, the rest of your body gets formed, coming on board, your ear, you know, from high school, right, you have uh, all, the, all the cells just split, right? So that's, you grow this big now. So your ear has a connection to every part of your body. Is that amazing or what? That's why 
everything you do to your ear, you do to your body. Is that good or good? Is that wild? It's a wild idea. <laughs> it's far-fetched, right? You never knew about that about your ear. Wow. Well, I do not take credit for this. My teacher, who's world famous, Dr. Li Chun Huang, she is the one that spends 50 years of her life doing basic and clinical research to discover every part of the year has it mapped to our body. You see? So we're here I'm just teaching you how to use this, but you didn't know that it takes my teacher 50 years of her life to really meticulously do every point is a clinical research in China. Have you heard of that? So we really appreciate what we got here. We are truly a, yes? So you're saying the reflexology of the ears uh, uh, go to the hands, the feet, the rest of the body, legs? Yes, the, the whole body, the whole body. And external organs and all the skin? Everything. So you see, I don't know who come to my booth today. I was giving five minute ear reading today at my booth to demonstrate to people and to wake, to open their eyes to see this connection. Anywhere in the, any part of the body that has pain or even without any pain. Okay. Even without any pain, you still can check the ear and the ear will tell you what your inner doctor is working with. You see? Now, okay, the next thing, so now you, hear, you have met your inner doctor in a way because you have a way to communicate with your inner doctor. Your, and your inner doctor will tell you what she or he is working on through the control panel. Now, what language does the inner doctor use? Oh, thank you, Shafra. <laughs> oh, thank you, Shafra, for being here. I, she's a very special person in my life. She, I could be able to stand up here and tell you my life story is because of the special woman, Shafra, there. She helped me figure out that this is what I am meant to do, is to tell you about the inner doctor. So, yes, pain is the language because, well, neurological, the nervous system, yes, that is, it, how do we feel our electrical system is through pain, right? So, pain is actually a good thing because that is, without it, we cannot communicate with our inner doctor. So who thinks pain is bad? <laughs> we have to take pain pills or whatever, do whatever to, to get rid of the pain. Well, it's true, we want to get rid of pain, but there are two types of pain. One is pain that you feel, like headache, stomach ache, or that's one type of pain. The second type, is pain that in your body, certain parts of your body, these special parts of your body that I call control panel, you don't feel until you go and look for it. You see? But those pain is fully information that you can use to understand about your body. So if you have a headache coming on, for example, you will feel pain in the head part of your ear. And then even before your headache, you feel your headache. And then you could do something about that pain to get rid of it. So how cool is that, that you can predict your headache and get rid of it before you feel the headache? Is that cool? 
Yes. So let's do an exercise. Of course, I'm saying there's a, a, you have to practice to get good at talking to your inner doctor. It's not like the first time you, you get really good at it. So let's start by doing a self-check. Just now you don't know about it. Now that you know about what the year is about, let's do a, a, another a round of checking in your ear, but this time we're consciously looking for pain. Okay, can we do that? So we use your index finger and we start with the inside, we go in, and then we do circles and we do firm pressure. So we just draw a circle. Does any of you feel any pain or any soreness? Do you feel some? Okay. So that is inner doctor already talking to you. <laughs> uh, those of you don't feel anything, don't worry. Either you you have no pain and really healthy, <laughs> or you're just not getting it right yet. Okay? <laughs> but if imagine you do this every day in the morning or whenever. You're checking in with your inner doctor, and then you can do something about it to get rid of the pain in, in your ear. And then you are clearing, you're helping your inner doctor to take care of all these complex things it does for you. Imagine if you don't know about checking what you just did to check for pain, that pain, the inner doctor say, I'm putting out the pain there to tell you I'm working on this problem, but we don't know all this time. Well, guess what? It will end up as a surprise when you're in your annual physical. <laughs> uh, uh, you have something growing or whatever you did not know until you, know, you go to the doctor. But, in fact, your inner doctor already putting out the information so you to work with him or her to get rid of that. So, what do you think, what's the word? People say, an a ounce of prevention is, there you go. So, whenever what I just taught you is an ounce of prevention. You see, something so simple you can do, you can eliminate something bad happen down the road. That will, it's, it's like an avalanche. It will just, if whatever it is that's causing that pain your inner doctor wants to tell you about, it will build up to it's, it's something uh, down the road that might be, uh, might be a surprise. But if you do something every day to get rid of that pain, and it's just so easy to get rid of the pain, it's just you just keep working on it. If you feel the soreness, keep working on it, connect with it, and breathe it out. That's all it is. The power of intention. Yeah. So, so do you get my drift? where I'm going, yeah? So that is how you listen to the inner doctor, yes? Now, what's next I'm supposed to say? Questions. Hmm? Questions. Questions. <laughs> okay, any questions so far? Oh, so I am, I have clinic in San Francisco and San Jose. I see patients the, from these two places. And I give uh, workshops like this to uh, online or offline to anybody uh, that would love this kind of information. Is this empowering information? Yeah. you have a card? Yes, absolutely. Oh, I have, 
I left it in my booth. You could come by and get it. Yes? So, so if you're online, do you have a website? Someone who's contacting you on the internet? Yes. You can go to lisawong123.com. No, uh, sorry. lisawong360.com is my digital business card. You have all my contacts there. Yes? Yes. Thank you, Sherpa. Thank you. Thank you. So as you can see, I was so, because of my experience on top of Mount Kilimanjaro, and because of that, I determined that if I can do it, anybody can do it. And I wanted to make it my mission to spread the message that our inner doctor needs a voice. Everybody needs to know about the inner doctor and knows all the ways to hear our inner doctor and see what the impact of the things we put in our mouths, the, the things we do, the, the thought we think, has an impact on our most precious inner doctor. Okay, any que other question? Can yes. you unplug your ear by doing that? Absolutely, yes. There's a button, this, uh, <laughs> I, I teach my class, the, 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 uh, there's a button here and there's a button here. There's a button for everything <laughs> in your ear. So because the internal, the, see the ear within the ear is over here? So if you do that, you rub it in long enough, the blood flow will go to your ear and magical happen, you go unplug the ear. The internal ear, this is, yes, connected to the inside of the ear. Yes? How about if you have um, a ringing in the ears? Same thing? Ringing in the ear, there's a special massage we do to the whole channel here to, to that affects, increases, boosts the blood flow to that, uh, the hearing mechanism. Yes. So how's this different from like your hand or your feet where you're coming from today? Absolutely. Those are control panels. That's what I mean by control panels. It's small part of our body that actually represent the whole body. So I just talk about the ear, I don't want to conf you know, overwhelm people, I don't have much time. So I uh, talk about what I know best. This is my uh, specialty. This, um, there's a, so much more we can do professionally to the ear because every, I mean, imagine it's so small, that surface, but every inch, every milliliter is connected to our body and it's, it will 
create immediate response because we are quantum physics. Our cells in the body is connected all the time. So this is something Western medicine, uh, I would wish this goes into medical schools, the medical students should, should uh, know about this because this is by far the, more, the most sophisticated you know, built-in equipment we have more better than MRI and CT scan because what, what, we, what I just taught you, the simple procedure, you could pick up things that MRI, CT scan cannot pick up way early than actually shows up in the CT scan. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, yeah. So why simple? Uh, understanding, if you understand, appreciate the body is all living tissue, it living tissue changes, right? Including bone, even though bone is the s slowest uh, growth tissue, right? But it still replenish and renew itself. So when you rub your ear, especially on the bone part, the, your skeletal parts of you know, your leg, your uh, hand, your shoulder, you increase blood flow to that part of the body and your, your bone tissue will uh, be nourished and then your inner doctor does the rest. <laughs> All you're doing is to increase giving blood flow to the rest, the whole body and the inner doctor does the rest. Because right, do you understand? Did I answer the question? Okay. Yes. Well, if you believe that we're what a miracle we are, anything is possible. <laughs> Spinal stenosis is just it's a physical thing, right? The 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 spinal cord narrow due to some reason. But you can give it increase the blood flow to that part, like I said. Over time, and of course you need your intention, your loving heart, everything. We are all energy, so every part of our body can change. If you do it ten times a day, different times of the day, and dispersed, maybe it will have cumulative effect. If if you have the the vision, if you have the intention, you have the trust. First, you have to trust. You don't trust your inner doctor will not make miracles. Yeah. Depression. We have right here. We don't show in this picture, but um, the back of this area here is directly connected to our limbic system, which is our midbrain, is our emotional brain. So, by rubbing this part here, and you, some of you, if you have anxiety or depression, you feel soreness there. The bottom part. Yeah, the edge, the edge, the edge the here. The edge here. Mm -hmm. So by by by. Stimulating that part, you're increasing blood flow to your midbrain. Then you will feel a lot more happier. <laughs> this is this is all scientific based because my teacher does all the research in the hospitals in China for the military of China, the China National Military um, Hospital. So this is yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you for your question. That's a great question. Um, yes. So. The uh, ch traditional Chinese medicine, even in the Wangti Neijing, is Bible of Chinese traditional Chinese medicine. For those who are not familiar, um, document already in there that there's a connection of the body energy channels 
uh, all goes to the ear. But it takes, uh, it, uh, there's three school of thoughts that um, talks about using the ear to heal. And uh, I want to make it quick, it's, it's a long story, but the history of how uh, the uh, treating using the ear has evolved. And my teacher, like I said, spent uh, last 50 years to perfect it by giving it the Western clinical research to actually uh, perfect and even uh, mapped more uh, specific uh, uh, body parts and actually corrected some of the uh, previous understanding. So we built on that body of research. Um, so, so, so far, my teacher, who's the founder of what's called auricular medicine, that's what this body of language, uh, knowledge, auricular medicine, or yi shue in Chinese. Okay, there's the French system, which also come from uh, China, uh, if you know the origin of it. But um, yes, right now there's the Chinese system by known support by the Chinese government, and there's the French system, and then there's my teacher system. How do you spell that word? Auricular medicine. Okay. One last thing uh, I wanted to, uh, to address, which I promised you to go over, is your understanding what's optimum health, right? Today, what's your understanding of what optimum health? What does that mean? Uh huh. You don't feel any pain. You f you don't feel any uh, discomfort. You have good chemistry lab results, right, from your doctor's visit, and you're happy. That's optimum health for you. Is that yeah. is that uh, accurate? Okay, how about? Uh, two things. Is it mm -hmm. possible to bring back lost hearing from nerve damage? Depending on the nerve damage, we've, uh, my teacher have proven that even 10% of the uh, remaining nerve damage, we can still revive it by increasing blood flow. So in uh, somebody who lost the nerve to see, uh, uh, not lost the nerve, but the nerve that impacted, so they affect the vision. For example, I had a patient from when I was working at Kaiser, she had brain, serious brain damage, brain injury. She lost her uh, ability to taste and smell because the, the brain injury, her, her husband uh, banged her head in the door um, before they got divorced. Um, and so the, the blood clot from the brain injury press, up, press against the cranial nerves. And the one that's impacted is her taste and smell. So she didn't, uh, wasn't able to eat with you know, flavor or anything. She just eat to survive. So that was six years before she found me and I did the treatment on her using auricular medicine. And s slowly but surely after seven months, uh, one day she went, took her son to baseball game and in the bathroom, the ladies room, she all of a sudden smells poop. <laughs> and she was so happy. <laughs> Because somehow the, the, the pungent smell somehow clicks something, and all the work that we've been, we do together somehow uh, uh, release that pressure on the nerve and revive the nerve. You see? This miracle happens. Yes? So you're basically saying you just don't treat the one, you teach the, the client and work Yes. Well, I do give treatment besides yeah. giving treatment, you know, the, prof the professional way. I will, that's most, I focus on educating my clients 
to use you know, acupressure to work on their control panels, not just the ear, but all the other ones, the eight that I'm talking about. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay. Thank you. Oh, okay. So, so uh, let me finish that thought. Uh, so I, I, I focus on educating, so empowering my clients, the people, I, my students, so to do their self-healing, self-care. Okay. Optimum health, the, well, so now that you understand about this concept of control panel in the body, so what optimum health means that you have an actual uh, uh, very clear indication if you're, you're in the optimum health means there's no pain in anywhere. You cannot find pain anywhere in the body, even uh, whether by yourself checking or by the professional checking. In my t 10 years of practice, I found one person Truly, I cannot find pain, even with my professional checking. So it's possible. Yes, so believe uh, the miracle that we are, and our inner doctor is the amazing uh, us. We are our inner doctor. So thank you for listening. You've been such a wonderful audience. <laughs> is, do you receive value from our talk? Is it worthwhile? Thank you. And please teach at least three people, your loved one, about what you learn, okay? So I want to impact the world, especially your kids. You going to tell us about the discovery session with you? Oh, yes, yes. So um, if you'd like to work on me one-on-one, -on -one, uh, I'm happy to invite you for a one-hour free session with me so I can understand what your goals are, what your uh, challenges are, and see if I can be a good fit to help you. Okay. Where is your clinic in San Francisco? In uh, Richmond. Oh, sorry, sorry, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. How do you get thank in you. touch with you to do that? Is, is this your website, Lisa Long 360? That's my business.